Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure and share it with your friends, colleagues, and co-workers. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. The video is Fall Protection and Using Guardrails. Falls continue to be the number one killer in construction in the U.S. And these are tragic because they are preventable. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, requires that you are protected from falling from exposed sides or edges and from falling objects in the work area that are six feet above lower levels in construction and four feet in general industry. A 15 foot perimeter must be maintained on any roof or leading edge. Now this protection can be in the form of guardrails, personal fall arrest systems, or safety nets. Almost all construction sites have unprotected wall openings and exposed sides and edges at some point during construction or demolition. For these openings, guardrails are the preferred method because they protect workers below from falling objects and workers on the elevated work area from falling off. For wall openings, guardrails must be used when the openings are larger than 18 inches wide and 30 inches tall. Guardrails must have a top rail at least 39 to 45 inches above a working surface. The top rail must be able to withstand a force of 200 pounds in any direction. The mid rails must be placed midway between the top rail and the working surface and be able to withstand a minimum force of 150 pounds. And tow boards must be able to withstand a minimal force of 50 pounds. Also, screens, mesh, or tow boards must be used if there's the possibility of items falling over the edge. To help avoid guardrail accidents, we need to follow a few simple steps. Check the guardrails as you work. Make it part of your job. Don't lean against the guardrails or hang tools or anything on them. If you find a weakened or missing section, correct the situation if you can. If not, report it immediately to eliminate the hazard. If you bump into a guardrail with material or equipment, check it immediately to see if you've damaged or weakened it. Now guardrails come in a whole bunch of fashions. You can have built, and I'll show you some pictures here. You can have them built on an opening using uprights, or if you have a window opening, you can just put a mid rail, uh, top rail, and a tow board across the window opening or a door opening at a leading edge or a, a, a fall protection area. You can do all kinds of configurations, but the main thing is that it prevents anybody from uh, going over the edge. And, and remember, uh, top rail, mid rail, and tow board. And uh, it must be adequately, 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 <laughs> and adequately secured. Try and say that fast three times. Anyway, make sure they're adequately secured. And uh, top rail, once again, must be able to support 200 pounds in any direction. Mid rail, 150 pounds in any direction. And the tow board must be able to support 50 pounds. Anyway, that's it for this week's Toolbox Safety Topic video. Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. 
And if you found the information useful or helpful, make sure you share it with your colleagues and co-workers. Anyway, until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. All right, that was short and sweet. And it's just a quick overview. Remember, uh, these toolbox safety topics are uh, videos are designed to uh, aid you in, in the OSHA requirement of uh, continuous uh, uh, education and safety. Uh, if you're going to use them in that fashion, make sure that you have a sign-in sheet and the sign-in sheet references this video. Make sure you date it and have everybody sign it to signify that they watch the video. And that is a, a, a permitted document that, uh, that uh, shows that you're having additional training, uh, the requirement that OSHA has. Anyway, if you watch it at the very end, I don't know which way it rolls, I left some more of those Easter eggs. I got out and made some this past weekend. And uh, be sure and leave a, a comment down there what you think about them. And if you have a special topic you want a video on, make sure you request it in the comments down below. Uh, or if you have a, a special concern, a special uh, question on safety, uh, leave it in the comment down below and I'll, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a grateful day. I'll see you in the field. Stop. Thank you.